Hi, it's Jan from YouMakeItSimple.com. We're going to go over 10 simple gift wrapping ideas using brown paper bag or brown craft paper. You can create some really fun gifts wrappings using simple brown paper and a little bit of jute and some other fun things. Let's get started. If you have a small package to wrap, simple colored rubber bands can really add some cute texture and character to a box. You can crisscross them, put them in a parallel lines to make stripes, lots of different fun things you can do with rubber bands. Add as many as you want and add a bow and you're good to go. So to make this cute reindeer box, you'll just need some brown paper, a couple strips of brown or black pipe cleaner, a black marker, and a, red, a little red pom-pom, and a glue gun with some glue sticks. So just wrap your box, rectangular box, in brown paper. Take your pipe cleaner, fold it in half, and there's no real, um, specific directions just start bending the wire to form some kind of antler no um, big deal if they're different just give it some character on the bottom just fold the bottom under just a little bit so you have something to glue to the box just do that with both pipe cleaners until you have two antlers Take your glue gun and put a little bit of glue onto the pom-pom, put it in the middle of the end of the box, and just draw two simple eyes and a little smile or a mouth with the marker. To apply the antlers, just apply a little bit of hot glue onto the bottom and figure out where they need to go and place it onto the box. Pretty simple. Kids really like these boxes to open. Using dried orange slices to decorate a box, a gift box is really nice. The orange color against the brown paper really add some fun color to a package. So just take a couple couple slices of the dried orange wrap your package with some jute jute always adds a ni nice natural color to the to the package and just apply some hot glue and put them where you want <laughs> using fresh sprigs of greenery really add color to a brown package I'm going to show you how to use a brown paper bag and sew the end together with a sewing machine so if you go through your yard you can go walk through your yard and find some this is elderberry that I'm using that has a really really beautiful blueberry on it that looks really nice against brown and the greenery so take your bag to the sewing machine put your gift in there and take it to the sewing machine and use any kind of stitch. There's several different stitches that you can use. Experiment and find one that you like. You can use whatever color thread that you want to use. And it's just a kind of fun way to seal your a brown bag. Take your sprigs of greenery, gather them how you want them to be. And I'm just going to use a stapler and apply a white tool ribbon. You can find white tool already cut or you can cut some sprigs of it it's just a light um, weight ribbon you can use regular ribbon if you want to so just turn your stapler sideways and give it a punch I'm gonna place it on each side of the knot of the bow so you can't really you won't even really see the, the staple So there's lots of different ideas and different ways to 
sew the top of the bag and to decorate your bags. You gotta love rosemary. Rosemary is a great thing if you have it available to add to a package. Not only it looks really nice on the greenery against the brown paper, it has a really nice aroma. So you'll need a few strips, a few little pieces of floral wire. Wrap your sprig of rosemary in a circle, overlap the ends, and wrap both of the ends with the wire just to keep them in place. Clip off the ends of the wire after you've twisted the ends and you can add a cute ribbon of any color if you want to. It looks good just by itself without the ribbon. Take your glue gun, add a little bit of glue to the back of the wreath and adhere it to the package. Pretty simple. Another way to add some color to your package is to make your own bias tape trim. The benefit of using bias tape trim is you can use all kinds of fabrics and prints. Just a cute custom way to add color. I have a tutorial on how to make your own bias tape that you can look up. Simply cut it to the length that you want. Use a glue gun to adhere it in the back. and add a cute shiny button. Another option is to add all kinds of greenery. You can use sprigs of pine and of course rosemary, all kinds of twigs or things with jute. Very simple, basic, natural looking package. So who would have thought to put some fun baubles that usually go on the tree? Small plastic ones work really well tied to some jute onto a package. So just wrap your package as you normally would. Decide which bobbles and what color varieties you want to use. String them on a piece of twine or some shiny thread. Make a loop. Add some twine to the package make a knot and then slip it through that loop you made with the thread. Pretty simple. Adding another cute sticker to it. Fun way to add color to any kind of gift is to throw on some colorful buttons of all kinds of sizes, shapes, really add some charm something unique you would you don't see every day all you need is some fun colorful buttons decide how you want them to be on the package i like to lay them out first and using a glue gun to put them in place a fun way to upcycle your jar of buttons Adding some jingle bells just like we did the baubles, a little bit of greenery, great combination of the red bells or silver bells with the greenery and the brown paper. So many fun things you can do.
So who needs fancy wrapping paper when you have a brown paper bag or some brown craft paper? A great way to embellish and wrap a unique, thoughtful gift. Thanks for watching. Click on that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.